Hello, welcome to Friday, February 10th, 2023, the AM Drive, part three. As I said in one of the earlier things, yesterday was National Pizza Day. Purely by coincidence, we ended up having pizza. My daughter wanted pizza. We usually get pizza on Fridays. We got pizza yesterday. She didn't know it was National Pizza Day. I pointed it out to them, and they were surprised. Well, actually, my daughter lied and was like, yeah, that's why I asked for pizza. I said, well, okay. I feared she learned it later. She said, no, nah, I was just, I, she's good. She's like me. She's just like, just say anything with a straight face. It was fantastic. didn't watch the entire video uh, earlier, I was trying to think of the guy, the old fellow that had died, and they had a website up about him, and I kept saying Ray Liotta, but I knew that was wrong, but I knew it sounded something like that. It turned out it was Abe Vigoda that was driving me absolutely insane. I had to Google it at a red light just to find out what his name was. I think Ray Liotta was such a good fit, I don't think I was ever going to get out of that trench. car desperately was <laughs> I'm looking at the map, the map, the map, the map, I'm looking at the map, uh, and it desperately wants me to get on the highway. It's, it's faster, it's faster to get to work if I take the highway, but it's more miles. Um, the estimated time so far, so far I've lost about eight minutes. Between the estimated time that it said when I initially got on the road, nine, nine, uh, nine minutes now. Because it finally stopped telling me to U-turn and get on the highway. So at this point, um, if, if I don't stop fighting the, uh, fighting the GPS, I'll have lost nine minutes, but I'll have gained saved whatever it is in tolls and uh
sometimes you just have to test the rumble strips. Sometimes you just gotta drink coffee that's too hot, too fast. Just let you know you're alive. At least for a few more minutes. Oh, is the bus gonna hit me? Oh, he stopped. Now it's 12 minutes. I think it might, when we're there, I, I think the difference between taking the highway and taking the byways is, uh, I think it's a total of 15 minutes. It's, it's 15 minutes longer if I go this way, but there's no tolls and it's less miles on the car. Um, there, there is stop and go. I, I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't know which one's better. I mean, I have to think that I'm burning less fuel going this way, because it's less miles. It's, uh, it's not quite half, um, but it's significantly less than taking the highway. When I say not quite half, I mean it's, it's more than half. Quite cut the number in half. It's uh, but there's a definite decrease. It's like sixty yeah, percent of the miles. I don't know. Can I look down? Is there a trapometer? Trapometer. Any of these buttons do anything? done this before, I just can't remember the exact numbers. Yeah! Hunky McConkerson. pillow. I went out. 
I don't have trouble sleeping. I have trouble laying down. So when I do pack a lunch, um, I always bring my own silverware to work, and I, I see people that bring a lunch, like they have they have their lunch bags and stuff like that, but every day they come to work and they uh, they go to the cafeteria to get a spoon, um, a plastic disposable spoon. That, like that just drives me crazy. Like I can't I can't stand those one use items. I explained this before. I thought I had one overflowing container, like. We had a party once and I bought a bunch of those thinking it was a good idea, but it, it, it's not because I wash silverware anyway and I've got plenty of it. Why not just use regular silverware? What's the point of having all these plastic utensils? So, uh, like when I bring my lunch to work, I have, I, I bring my own forks, knives, and spoons. I keep them in a separate uh, pouch in the thing and then I just wrap them up and take them home and wash them when I'm done. But I just like, I, I watch people do that. It's like, all the effort that went into making this spoon, like all the waste, and then like it gets used for like a yogurt. And then they throw it away or like a little bowl of oatmeal. They use the spoon once and it just goes right in the trash. How, how can you feel good about that? I mean, not to get all Greta, but I, I hate that. Like I've, I've hated that for years. I hate these one use plastic things like, I know you can't get around it, but like that's why I, I don't like, like I, I buy stuff at, like I end up keeping the bowls. The bowls are actually very useful. Like um, like if you go to Wawa and get a salad or something like that, it comes with that sealable bowl, or if you get like a hot lunch thing that comes with one of those things, they're reusable and I, I, I reuse them quite often. But uh, like I know the vast majority of us don't. And I, I remember, I told this story before, but I'll just tell it again just to fill the air. Uh, recounting one day I was going to work and I remember by the time by the time I had gotten to work and sat down to start my day like I had gone through an incalculable number of plastic one-time use items like because I had stopped at Wawa on my way I think even before I left the house there was something I used that was a one-use uh, plastic item uh, so I went to Wawa you know you get all this stuff you get a sandwich or you get a or something, a salad or something, uh, eggs in a bowl. And that comes, you get silverware with that. So the silverware is disposable, the packaging for the silverware is disposable, the packaging for your eggs is disposable. You carry it out in a bag that's disposable. The eggs come and stuff come in a separate bag from that counter that goes into the bag you got from the other counter that you got your water in that comes in a disposable plastic bottle. Um, like it just goes on like that. By the time I sat down, like had a little snack and uh, started my work day, and then, like there was the, the coffee with the lid and the stir and the little thing they put in the top of the coffee to stop it from spilling for a while. Dunkin' Donuts was using that little brown thing that they stick in there. Just so many random pieces of plastic wash away unavenged. a lot of it could be avoided you, like they they do have like Dunkin Donuts mugs like they, they have they sell them I think you can even get them for free at some points but um, like you could refill those and then you're, you're using that um, you could carry your own silverware you could use uh, reusable reusable bags I, I don't know how to avoid the uh, one-time use bowl thing though that seems like there's no getting around that if you're buying food at the counter oh, my fly is down um, if you're buying food at the counter I don't think there's any way of getting around the reusable bowl thing
because they give you real bowls, charge you a little more. It's like a bowl deposit. You bring back the bowl. It sounds like a lot of work. I don't think that's ever going to pick up or catch on. Although if they did buffet style, semi-buffet style, um, you could bring your own bowl and they could just like have a doser and dose out the proper amount of whatever you ordered. Again, that sounds like a uh, logistical nightmare. So all food should be served at a slurry. That way you can just put it in one of those mugs. Have an egg curry slurry. If I were to stop to get pretzels, I would have needed to be there three minutes ago. <sighs> Not that I had any illusions that I was going to get pretzels today. But it would have been a nice surprise for everyone on a Friday. I could just be late to work and bring in pretzels. I probably shouldn't because I just said I was going to meal skip today. this one before but I'll just share it again because we had pizza yesterday um, if you ever go to reheat pizza um, reheating in a microwave is, is disastrous um, it, it heats unevenly it's soggy it's terrible it's absolutely terrible um, but what I discovered recently um, within the past year strict sheer, sheerly by chance was um, if you repeat it repeat it repeat it if you reheat it in a cast iron pan, it turns out phenomenal. Uh, you put it on a medium heat um, and you let it cook until the uh, the cheese starts to melt and you end up with a, a very nice crispy crust. Like, it, it's actually better than when you get the pizza. When you get the pizza, it, it t especially if like, you bring it home in a box and stuff like that, the uh, crust is invariably soggy. But when you reheat it in a cast iron pan, it just, it ends up being a really nice, firm, crisp crust, and uh, it heats so much more evenly than throwing it in the uh, microwave. It's okay in the oven. Um, that, that's, that's the next best way to do it, but um, my experience with the uh, cast iron pan has been better. Best method overall to reheat used pizza. Leftover pizza, used pizza. <laughs> Welcome to Chris's Used Pizza Emporium. How may we help you? I 
could probably mine all of these. Like there, I, I think there are a couple of helpful hints. hints um, you know, don't microwave babies. I, I could strip mine all of these videos and just put together one content dense video. Not not all the ones from today, all the ones I've ever made, and make one one video out of it.